Once again, fans, don't forget the UIC Pavilion Chicago. It is tomorrow night. That's right, tomorrow night, 7.30 bell time. Tickets to the box office. All Ticketron outlets, including Sears. Get your tickets because it's going to be a big event. You know, Jack, one of the top stars, or some of the top stars of the UIC Pavilion tomorrow night will be the Four Horsemen, the notorious rule breakers for the NWA. And we were talking just before we went on the air, and there was a man called Hans Schmidt that you're very familiar with, and you compared him to Big Sid Vicious. I would say that they come from the same mold, yes, and the uh, total villains. And, of course, as you know, Tony, a lot of people will buy tickets so they can boo. Oh, sure. And they Absolutely. love to boo Hans. As a matter of fact, he was such a notorious villain that mothers would pull their kids out of his path, for heaven's sakes, if he walked into a store. Airlines didn't want to book him. Hotels didn't want to accommodate him. The poor guy finally wanted to living in a trailer. Not only that, but he had to drive by night because, uh, as I said, the, the airline just simply didn't want to accommodate him. Do you have any stories when you worked with Hans Schmidt about Hans Schmidt maybe uh, in, in the ring or something like that? Oh, yes. He had one of those interviews one time that almost uh, put him and me and the station and everybody else off the air. Because, oh, really? Oh, yeah. He, I got 5,000 pieces of mail on, a, on an interview where he said, I will take the title back to Germany and never give an American a crack at it. I think that you people who teach sportsmanship to your kids are crazy. Win at any cost is the answer. Besides, I don't like Americans anyway. Oh, boy, you think things didn't go to the sky on that one. I bet it did. Oh, boy. A American Legion posts, AM vets, you know, veterans of the foreign wars, doctors, psychiatrists, undertakers offered to bury them for free. The German-American newspaper got into the act. The council got into the act. The FBI got into the act. You, that's quite a story. Okay. We'll be back to talk to Jack Brickhouse a little bit later on. More of the great stories of NWA wrestling in Chicago. Right now, here's a look at the rundown of the card coming to the UIC Pavilion tomorrow.